The Owl and the Grasshopper One fine afternoon, the kind of afternoon where the sun shines bright and the breeze feels like a sweet caress on a soft cheek, the songbirds sang a daytime lullaby and leaves hushed and shushed as they danced together on their branches. An owl slept peacefully in one of the forest's oldest trees. In the midst of this tranquility, a young grasshopper, full of the exuberance that comes with youth and the joy of taking up space in the world, began to sing. For those who don't know, a grasshopper makes music by rubbing their nubby legs against the edge of their wings, a cheery chatter that complements nature's gentle cacophony. Most creatures might enjoy this plucky, rhythmic sensation, or at least they might not notice it, blending as it does with the other sounds of summer. Alas, on this day, our friend the grasshopper found himself filled to bursting with song, perched atop an exposed root. An exposed root that just happened to be the bottom of the tree the owl called home. Owl awakened with a jolt and poked her head out from her cozy hole. What noise is this? She hooted, outraged. It's me, chortled the grasshopper, and with a particularly enthusiastic shaka shaka shaka, he finished with a flourish. Why are you making this noise? She asked imperiously. Because I am here. I am full of life and full of love, and I need the world to hear it, he replied, resuming his song. Can you sing a bit more quietly? She asked. I am trying to sleep. I can't hear you, shouted the grasshopper. My song is too loud. The owl, wise as she was, changed tacks. I said, she said, raising her voice, I love your song. Who wouldn't, shouted the grasshopper. I'm an extremely good singer. Indeed you are, returned the owl. Why, I could sit here and listen to you all day, but I don't understand how you are producing those wonderful tones. My eyes are old and don't see so well in the daylight. Why don't you hop up here next to me and tell me all about it? Taking only a moment to pat himself on the back for a song well sung, the boastful grasshopper hopped right up to the owl's branch, closed his eyes theatrically, and as he positioned his legs to scratch out the most magnificent song, gulp, the shrewd owl ate him right up. That's quite enough of that, she thought to herself. And turning around, she headed back into her nest. After all, no one likes to be woken from a nap.